Citizen Con, the gift that keeps giving even into Sunday. <laughs> Hello YouTubers, this is Nubifar. On the 8th of October 2022, we had CitizenCon. The show was a set of seven pre-recorded segments spaced out by some live bits hosted by Jared. I'm going to be breaking down anything having to do with this show in its own playlist, which is linked up for you right now so you can soak it in. This was the fourth panel, Journey 4.0, The Need for Speeds. Here's what you need to know. The panel was hosted by, stick with me, David Colson, Richard Tower, Ged Talbot, Yogi Klatt, Johnny Young, who are the lead vehicle programmer, lead game designer, senior game designer, senior gameplay programmer, and gameplay programmer. With the intent of moving towards a proper balance, they still plan to have ship types that work similarly, light, medium, heavy, but not all ships are going to fall perfectly into those categories. There will be ships that can blend between them. The regular archetypes though are light is fast, medium with turrets and more specialized gear, heavy with armor and weapons, long duration but perhaps they're sluggish. They spoke a little bit about racers, they spoke somewhat about bombers, they spoke about multiplayer ships describing the roles exactly how you would expect, no surprises so far. All ships can be seen as special, they need to make this diverse or we will just fly around in a handful of very good ships. They're working with speed to vary this and they want to limit jousting. High speed combat is not the goal. Close and personal was said to be more fun. So being able to project away from the fight all the time, charging up your shields and then coming back is frowned upon. They can't just drop the overall speed, so they need to get creative. They tested soft speed caps and that did not achieve the goal. The focus in Squadron 42 is good and they're happy with what's called master mode. Master modes are being tested in Squadron 42. These are SCM and Quantum. It was said to be the best of both worlds with benefits of being in either. SCM is your high mobility mode with full shields and full weapons. Dogfighting. Anything that you need to fight in is limited below 200 meters per second. You can overboost for short periods, but you cannot fly quickly in SCM. Quantum mode unlocks more speed, but you're going to lose all the protection and your weapons. Quantum boost will be new and is meant for very short bursts. 50,000 kilometers or less can be boosted. 1,200 to 1,400 meters per second, or you can boost short, or you can enter conventional long-range quantum. Entering quantum mode, your shields are gone, your weapons are gone, and when you're switching between the two, there's a slight wake-up time where the recharge happens. These systems become enabled and must recharge. They were mentioning a bunch of in-lore reasons why this would happen, including quantum bubbles and fields and all kinds of other things interfering with each other. They're looking into more device types that can exploit these two modes to interdict or stall. They're tweaking and balancing internally, and they feel that the changes are night and day. Fights are closer, fights are deliberate, and they say the multiplayer turrets become even more of a threat. Combat can be kept close, low, and slow, and the high-speed travel is preserved. Sounds interesting to me? That's it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. If, if you'd like to support, please consider sharing the content. Please look out for the playlist on all the breakdowns for CitizenCon 2022. Fly safe.